Today I wanted to show you guys an interesting little handgun that isn't often seen any longer. This is a Model 35 offhand Stevens pistol. This is the last of the production run. These particular versions were made from 1923 to 1942 in a total quantity of about 43,350 of them, which is the second largest production run of Steven handguns in any one model. Uh, the number one seller was the number 41 tip-up spur trigger. This is also the last of the production guns made by Stevens, end of the line. The only real difference uh, between these guns, which were made from 1923 to 42 and the previous versions, is they use a stamp trigger guard in place of the cast trigger guard, made it a little bit cheaper to produce. These guns were never terribly expensive to begin with. Very, very simple operation. Place the gun on half cock, which I already have, and there's a little button here on the left side of the gun. Push that in, tip it up. Has a manual extractor, remove the shells. These particular guns were chambered in a 22 long rifle. They're rated for high speed ammo, Super X type ammo. Uh, I wouldn't recommend shooting it. A lot of people did. One of the big reasons I don't recommend shooting it is these frames are made out of, out of uh, cast iron. They're not steel. And this locking mechanism here will wear over time. When you go to close these up, I also recommend that you go ahead and depress the button. Don't just snap it shut. That'll increase the, uh, the wearability of the gun, the longevity of the gun. This one was made Oh, about 1932, 33, and uh, it's still tight. The bore is still excellent on it. It's a very, very good shooter. Sights on these guns were very, very simple. It was a, a stamp leaf bent up, formed into a V-notch. They used two dovetails on the barrel here, and one screw to secure it to the front base, and a second screw to allow for elevation of the sight. They usually used a thumb wheel. Uh, when I got this gun, it was missing the thumb wheel. I had to construct a screw and uh, redrill and tap the hole for a 640 screw to allow for elevation on it. Front sight on this one is a Lyman ivory bead. Uh, the original guns actually had a very, very simple dovetail um, barley corn or, or an inverted V front sight. Somebody somewhere along the line added this Lyman sight. It does make for a little bit nicer sight picture. Gun's actually quite accurate, out 25 meters, fun to shoot. I also uh, brought up a little selection of vintage ammunition for this type of gun. Earlier versions were chambered in 22 short. They were also chambered in 22 long caliber. And Stevens was the originator of the 22 long rifle cartridge, which used a heavier 40 grain bullet in place of the 32 and 37 grain bullets of the uh, 22 short in the 22 long and they're the ones that actually began to market the long rifle they're the ones that work with some of the ammunition companies to develop a high speed or a, or a high power version of the cartridge so this is the type of stuff that would normally be found being shot in those guns in that era really quite nice uh, these are sleepers on the market as I said there were only 43,000 of them made the earlier versions less than 10,000 of some of the models and they really don't sell for a great deal of money on the collector market. You can generally find one of these for well under $300 uh, U.S. And to me, it's just a bargain if you happen to be looking for something that's unique and interesting to collect. Oh, you'll notice on mine it has this bronze color to the frame. Reason for that being is, again, somewhere in the distant past, somebody attempted to re-blue this gun. And uh, because it is an iron frame, it doesn't take a hot caustic bluing very well at all. So it caused this color to develop on the frame. I don't, I'm not sure the actual procedure that Stevens used to blue the frames. A great majority of them are nickel plated, though these later model Stevens 35 offhands are generally blue. You don't, as a general rule, find them nickel unless somebody's refinished it. Barrel length on these is six inches. They could be had in eight and ten inch versions too. At one time they also made a 410 shotgun version of this gun that was discontinued with the uh, National Firearms Act in 1934. They actually stopped producing the gun in, I believe, 1929 and 410. 
probably due to a lack of sales. They had a couple other guns that were out that were uh, more popular versions of a shotgun. So there you go. This is a nice little pistol if you're looking for something interesting. Thank you for watching.